Welcome everybody. I've got a pretty major glow up for Persian and a little in Persian from the original video slash version of them on the Google Sheets. Speaking of, yes, you can see all of the buffs and changes in this hack, which are very in-depth and a lot more detailed and thought out than your average run of the mill ROM hack. In the description below, there's a link to the same Google Sheet I'm sharing literally right now. And you can check out the move sheet where I have buffed and changed 600 plus moves. It's very, very in-depth and worth your time to give this move sheet a look. It's pretty critical to understand how the Pokemon function now because a lot of these moves will greatly impact the way that literally every single Pokemon functions because they're all, for the most part, widely distributed. Uh, distributed, distributed, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, point is though, Give that a look. Uh, Persian, though, both got some pretty major glow-ups. I've felt for the longest time that they were probably some of the worst Pokemon in the hack. There's a couple other guys that need reworks from the older videos and the older versions, like Blissey. But, uh, yeah, Persian and Alolan Persian, like, they just felt really poopy. Uh, I removed Fur Coat from Alolan Persian initially. I did give it back. And uh, that the reason I initially did that is because, number one, I, did, I was being very pedantic with the logic of Fur Coat. I was like, I don't see why their defense should be so high. They're not even that furry. Like, I don't know. I was being autistic about it. I'm allowed to say that. Um, <laughs> but it was just, like, bothering me too much, I guess, that they had Fur Coat. But I put it back because they feel very underwhelming. Uh, now, now, having gone through the whole decks, they felt very underwhelming, rather. Uh, I also specialized them more in Special Attack with Hubris, while... Uh, Cantonian Persian is slightly faster, more physical, and has Moxie. However, the star of the show for Cantonian Persian is the signature move, Payday. Payday plus Super Luck is insane. So, Payday is now a move that hits three times. It's 40 base power, which it always was, but it's 40 base power per hit. So it's 120 base power overall. There's no drawbacks, it's 100% accurate, it can miss, any of, that, any of that stuff, right? It's just a really strong move. Uh, however, the, the catch here, there's two catches. Number one, each hit has a 50% crit rate. So with Super Luck, which gives a plus one crit rate, and then a 50% crit rate, which is plus two, you'll always crit Payday, which makes Payday a 180 base power move that also bypasses things like Focus Slash, Sturdy, and a million other things. It's pretty crazy. It's a very cracked out move, uh, very worth it for Persian, because again, by this hack standards, I felt Persian was kind of mid. I mean, yeah, it's fast. Yeah, it's decently strong. Yeah, it has good coverage. Yeah, Super Luck isn't bad with the new crit moves. And I don't know, it just felt fucking lame. But now it's way cooler, and I would actually like to get one. Uh, and Alone Persian is just very, you know, fur coat, fast, bulky utility Pokemon. And then Hubris is good for certain situations because Hubris functions like Soul Heart and a special Moxie. Again, you can check out what all the new signature moves and custom moves. Sorry, check out what all the new signature moves and custom abilities do in this hack in the description down below. Most importantly though, I, would, I wouldn't even focus on the signature moves too much because those are situational and I'll usually cover them in the videos for those mons, but regular move buffs are really important, so do give those a look. Um, but yeah, that payday is pretty crazy. And obviously up until level 50, there's still great Pokemon. You have other Omni boosting options at 39. You'll get Happy Hour, which is just a regular old move that gives you plus one to all your stats. It's also signature to Persian. Uh, and then you'll also get the assist, which is signature to most cat Pokemon, and that will give you plus one to all your stats as well. And you have stuff like Power Trip and Moxie and other good things. Keep in mind that Persian won't be able to just 6 out. Oh yeah, I didn't mention the other kick, the other kick, or, or twist rather for Payday. Uh, the Z effect gives you plus one to all your stats in this 200 base power. So Payday is a really broken move overall, but it's not broken in the context of this hack where it's on a Pokemon that otherwise is at that point in the game at least is unremarkable. Even stuff like Eradicate is you know, stronger than Persian and Radicate's like a great Pokemon now. But uh, my point was like, as a pure normal type, it has a lot of competition. Uh, there are still like 18 norm pure normal types despite all the type changes in the hack. And I do try to keep all Pokemon unique from one another. So, you know, I just felt like Persian was really overshadowed by like other fast pure normal types. It just felt kind of whack, I don't know. And not to mention, you know, dual type Pokemon. It's like, I don't know, it's Persian just felt super underwhelming. So I'm really happy with this. Um, Payday works good with Moxie as well, because obviously with Super Luck, it's consistently 180 base power. But what you can also do is run Moxie with a Scope Lens, and then you're always critting uh, Payday. So you get a three-hit move that's 180 base power overall, and, um, you know, will give you plus one attack each time you knock the opponent out with it. And like I said, that does bypass 30 and Focus Sash, which are, you know, an uh, Energy Shield and Molten Scale and all these other common abilities and items that will prevent you from sweeping the opponent. Those are bypassed by Payday. However, first impression, uh, probably Topsy Turvy, Roar, Whirlwind, and Heart Swap and Haze will still check out, you know, those will still check a fast offensive sweeper like Persian. Uh, first impression especially will just delete Persian it's not very bulky at all um, so both both forms will die to first impressions obviously a low impression could tank one with fur coat but I'm talking about in the, in the sense of sweeping the opponent you you probably won't be able to 6-0 most boss fights if you do if you have a psychic search Pokemon though then you can you know parting shot or volt switch into your Persian and now you're now you're really cooking you know now you're really cooking up some shit um, 
but that does take you know setup and actual thought and brain power so i'm not upset if you do end up set up sweeping with a gimmicky pokemon like persian because late game it is relatively gimmicky and it's still has good utility you know it's got parting shot it's fast it's strong uh moves like slash shadow claw cycle cut and laceration will always crit with super luck now so those are just guaranteed 105 base power moves that ignore intimidate those ignore attack uh drops from intimidate and other moves like battle cry and all this other stuff and they ignore a defense boost on the opponent's side so those are especially good for totems and the, the, the benefit is basically this ruthless right which functions like sniper which is mostly what these abilities are made for super luck is very uncommon i think the only two pokemon that have it that are fully evolved are persian and uh farfetch i believe who are like literally balanced around it with the stick and then payday making super luck not as mid because while super luck is cool and that you don't need to hold scope lens to consistently crit the power without a boosting item is kind of underwhelming although you can just run life orb and then it's pretty comparable to ruthless but i don't know it, you don't get a boost that moves like first impression or any of these other moves either so it's just kind of like meh you know i'd say ruthless is better overall because of the balancing that I put into place. So, super luck, payday. Also very fitting, like it's this kind of like asshole cat Pokemon that's like super finicky and it's also like this gambling Pokemon. So I really like the concept of them having this like crazy move payday. Very, very fun. Uh, initially it was like really boring. It was, I think it was like just a 50 base power dark move that gave you plus one to all your stats with the Z move, but it was learned at level one. So you'd have to keep it, which is like, why? I don't know. I think I, the power levels in the hackers weren't that high at that point in time. So I was like, this is good enough, but yeah, not anymore. <laughs> uh, they were definitely going to be pretty pretty bad Pokemon. Not like terrible, like it was obviously still usable. Like they're still fast and strong, but I don't know, just felt very underwhelming. So I'm very happy with the changes here uh, for Persian from the original sheets. Uh, a lot more enthusiastic about it now. And they also have, you know, the general old reliable buffs like, you know, crazy covers moves and setup moves and all this other fun stuff that they can abuse e-speed on Cantonian Persian and all, all this other good stuff. So yeah, those are all really good buffs and changes, but I'm not going to cover them for too long because I am trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter, hence why I'm re-recording a lot of the older Kanto videos and also just to keep them more up to date because I do change a lot of stuff. Uh, overall though, very good buffs and changes. Like I was saying, Moxie can still work with Payday. You don't even need to run Sculpt Lens because with 50% of crit, 50% crit chance hitting three times, like one of those three hits is probably going to crit. So even if you get only one crit, that move is now 140 base power. You know, if you get two crits, it's 160 and then it's 180 at most. So like... That's still really fucking strong, you know? Like, you don't need to run uh, Super Luck. Super Luck is for the consistency. Uh, Moxie with Payday, that was very, very strong, obviously. And then you can snowball. However, keep in mind that first impression will force you out. So you can't 6-0 the trainer team if you're doing a hardcore Nuzlocke, which is what this, you know, boss, what, these, what, this, uh, what the boss fights are balanced around, relatively speaking. Not entirely. You know, if you're not an experienced player, I'm sure you'll have plenty of challenging experiences just doing a regular playthrough, but if you're a very experienced hardcore nose locker who's like very into that kind of stuff like I am and other people are, you're definitely going to want to, you know, uh, keep it hardcore nose lock and probably even team locked, although team locked is some people don't like that. But I do kind of balance the difficulty around that in this hack because every Pokemon can do so many different things. I think you have a lot of counterplay available to you at all times, no matter what sex Pokemon you have at a time. And I also think it encourages team building better. I think it encourages uh, a bunch of other really fun things. And it also just, you know, opens up a lot of really cool strategies. But, you know, you don't have to play that way if you don't want to. Uh, that being said, though, I think I'm going off on a tangent. And it's pretty clear that I've covered mostly everything. A lot of crazy coverage moves that I'm not going to even bother mentioning. You can check out what I'll be doing in the description down below if you don't know already. Uh, yeah, thank you for listening. I'll be back for more busting changes coming up. I'm really happy with these guys now. Hopefully you are too. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you listen this far into the video. I appreciate you. Shout out to you. Let me know in the comments down below if you listen this far in. Again, check out that description. Subscribe, like, all that fun stuff, and I'll be back for more. Peace.